2018 Seed Ibiza Hatchback Review The good points of Seed Ibiza Hatchback Sharp styling Practical interior Lots of kit Great they are driving The bad points of Seed Ibiza Hatchback Interior quality slightly behind the Volkswagen Polo Top spec cars pricey. No more SC or street. The seat I beat the super mini may be the Spanish manufacturer's best selling kind of all time, and, now to use fifth generation, is a lot more competitive than previously. Based about the VW Group's MQB A0 small car platform, it shares a lot of its components using the pricier Volkswagen Polo, yet adds sharper styling and keener pricing. In-house rivalry doesn't end together with the Polo either, as being the latest Skoda Fabia sits for a passing fancy underpinnings there for the upcoming Audi A1. Conventional rivals such since the Peugeot 208, Vauxhall Corsa, Nissan Micra and big-selling Ford Fiesta are definitely more accomplished than in the past, too, with all the latter remaining the top-selling car inside UK. Watch the whole if the seat Ibiza has what it requires to stand outside in one with the most competitive trading markets around. Watch, seat Ibiza vs Ford Fiesta. Youthful style yet still practical. Seat clients are overwhelmingly younger than other super money buyers, by about 10 years according to your brand, plus it's clear to understand why with sharp design, neat proportions and eye-catching design details. The Ibiza appears to be a shrunken Leon, and that's no bad thing, with sharp creases around its bodywork and distinctive LED lights featuring on some models. We think it's one of many finest looking super minis around. That doesn't mean practicality continues to be ignored, quite contrary. This fifth generation Ibiza is actually only available within a five door body style. Demand has fallen for three door super minis. Hence the Ibiza SC is dropped through the range. It's a similar story for small estate cars, the SD estate moved in favour on the Arona. In fact, this Ibiza is 2mm shorter compared to car it's replaced, but seat boasts they have more interior space and boot room than ever before thanks to some 60mm rise in the wheelbase. This equals enough space for four adults to suit comfortably along with luggage inside a boot that's 63 litres bigger it was previously. The interior design is a bit more restrained versus the outside, however it's functional and also easy to enjoy even after a brief period of time spent in the driver's seat. Interior quality trails a number of its rivals, nevertheless it feels like it'll last, and yes it comes which has a host of kit that will fascinate those who love gadgets. Seat I beat the review, frugal engine range. Buyers are very well catered for when it comes to engines, with familiar 1.0 litre 3 cylinder units available within a choice of 75, 95 and 115 horsepower forms. The latter two are turbocharged, while a hot to 150 horsepower 1.5 litre TSI petrol can be available. Search used seat Ibiza cars available for sale on. What's a seat Ibiza wish to live with? Here's our long-term test. Strong economy is par for your course effortlessly models returning over 50 miles per gallon, with low CO2 emissions overall. A set of two 1.6-litre turbo diesels were launched in 2018, and provides excellent fuel economy together with decent performance given their modest power outputs, 80 horsepower and 95 horsepower. For most though, petrol power are usually in favour, especially at partying. They're nippy and frugal, yet also refined, with slick manual gearboxes standard on all models, which has a DSG automatic on the 115 horsepower 1.0 DSI. On the move, the Ibiza seems to blend driving fun and comfort well indeed. It's as in the home on a tight, twisty road because it is in the outside lane in the motorway. Seat Ibiza specs, tank and equipment. A familiar list of models form the Ibiza range, starting with S and moving up through say, the expected bestseller, say technology, sporty FR and even more luxurious excellence at the top in the range. 
all models come which has a generous amount of exercise machines, although S might be a bit too sparse for most, and Seat launched the Ibiza by incorporating attractive finance deals to entice customers, including a free insurance offer on some models. Rear Seatbelt Recall in 2018 In May 2018, a recall was issued on Seat Ibiza. Citroena and Volkswagen Polo models about the left rear seat belt unintentionally releasing. Such an event may occur during quick lane changes then when the center rear and left rear seat are occupied at precisely the same time. A redesigned belt lock fixture is going to be fitted throughout the recalls. Seat Ibiza FR Sportiest Option, Cupro Ibiza in route. While Sayspec is a bulk seller. FR trim is specially attractive with increased aggressive looks that suited the Ibiza's youthful character. With the launch of Seat's standalone Cupra brand, expect a Cupra Ibiza to be shown considering VW has got the Polo GTI, Peugeot the 208 to buy Peugeot Sport, Renault Sport gets the Clio Turbo and Ford's got the Fiesta Street, there's certainly a spot within the market for a sportier seat. Latest deals from Buick R. Seat Ibiza 1.0 TSI Say Technology 11,795 pounds or 174 pounds each month. Seat Ibiza 1.0 TSI Say Technology 11,795 pounds or 174 pounds monthly. See all deals on Seat Ibiza. Representative example, representative API of 7.9% borrowing £10,509 over 48 months on HP type finance, the total amount payable could well be £250 monthly, that has a total cost of credit of £1,483 along with a total amount payable of £11,992. Dennis Boo Limited, 3132 Alfred Place, London, WC1 E7DP. GB0915158 can be a credit broker regulated by FCA, FRN colon 667368. The verdict. The seat Ibiza is growing up. It looks fantastic, carries a well-specified interior with genuine space for four, and also a comprehensive collection of frugal yet nippy engines to pick from. What's more? It's keenly priced and offers among the best drives inside the Super Mini class, will no longer does the Ford Fiesta own its own up. Seat I beat the review. 3 1.0 liters petrols power nearly all of I beat the range. Warm 1.5 TSI Evo obtainable in FR. Frugal diesel comes later. Seat I beat the performance is provided by a number of petrol engine options with diesel coming further later on. Kicking the Ibiza petrol engine range off can be a 1.0 litre three-cylinder pushing out 75 horsepower and 95 newton metres of torque, it's the identical engine you'll find from the smaller Miss City car. It's likely to end up favoured by individuals who rarely go out of town, it is going from 0 to 62 miles per hour in the leisurely 14.7 seconds, and includes a 5-speed manual gearbox. Top speed is rated at 104 miles per hour, providing more power and gratification, and anticipated to be the most favoured engine, can be a turbocharged 1.0 litre TSI with 95 horsepower. Torque is rated at 175 newton meters, which is usually a noticeable leap on the non-turbo 1.0 MPI 75. This engine can be a punchy performer, with the eager response through the throttle and intensely smooth power delivery. It's effective at reaching 62 miles per hour from your stance till in 10.9 seconds, and works really well using the slick shifting 5-speed manual gearbox. It's in excess of comfortable about the motorway, and may even pull well up slight gradients without having to change down a number of gears. If you find yourself over a de-restricted German autobahn, it'll embark onto a premier speed of 113 miles per hour, if you wish something which has a bit more poke. There's a 115 horsepower of exactly the same 1.0 TSI unit. This one is efficient at completing the 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint in 9.3 seconds, 
and may reach a high speed of 121 miles per hour. It's an excellent option for those regularly driving for the motorway as it has a six-speed manual gearbox instead from the usual five. In practice, it doesn't feel massively quicker versus the 95 horsepower engine, though, but much of that comes right down to how refined the engines are, you don't notice because doing so so quiet. It accumulates quickly and responsively, though, and easily keeps track of faster moving traffic, on account of 200 newton meters of torque provided by 2000 to 3500 revolutions per minute. Seat Ibiza manual and auto transmission options. All Ibizas come that has a manual gearbox as standard and, whether it's a 5 or 6 speed transmission, it's watched to use. The throw on the gear lever is nicely weighted and doesn't feel overly light like many super minis are likely to, but it falls easily handy. It's among the sweetest manual gearboxes you'll get in this segment, using a slick and precise action that doesn't feel as if it sure make use of. A dual clutch DSG automatic is situated on the 115 horsepower 1.0 TSI, which we're yet to sample. If it's as with any other car employing this gearbox, it's used during the entire VW group, then it'll likely be smooth and responsive and well matched to your higher powered petrol engine. Can I buy a diesel seat Ibiza? Yes, however, not just yet. What we truly do know, though, is always that there will be either 1.6 litre TDI diesels with either 80 or 95 horsepower. It's likely a 5 speed manual gearbox will feature on both, using a DSG option around the more powerful diesel. Which may be the best seat Ibiza available for you. So far, we've driven both the 1.0 litre TSI petrols, and are both very strong and willing performers. The 95 horsepower will suit most buyers mainly because it's just in the home on the motorway because it is zipping out partying. The 115 horsepower model is great though, and could be the choice from the two should you spend a lot of your energy on dual carriageways and motorways. You'll appreciate the sixth gear, allowing the Ibiza to pay back down at higher speeds. Even so, the 95 horsepower far away from struggles and is particularly rarely vocal but it's available across more with the range versus the FR only 1.0 TSI 115. Feels just like a grown-up car. Excellent ride, however fun. Steering is well weighted. With a whole new Ford Fiesta recently launched, the Ibiza incorporates a fight on its hands, because the car on the blue oval can be quite accomplished in terms of providing an enjoyable drive that's also compliant and relaxed when you desire it to be. The Ibiza does a fantastic job though, and feels quite similar on the Fiesta in relation to offering impressive ride comfort and tidy handling. Through a number of bends, the Ibiza feels composed with tight body control and well-weighted steering, providing enough feedback to the driver to find out what's taking beneath them. The steering isn't quite as communicative being a Fiesta, nor as quick to answer inputs, but this means a less frantic, more planted feel for the road, that will likely interest those trying to find something having a bit more balance. Selectable drive modes alter steering feedback and throttle response on FR models, switchable between comfort, eco, sport and individual modes. What's the seat Ibiza during town? In reality, more Ibiza owners will be concerned with how easy it truly is to maneuver around town than just how much fun you will have a twisty country road. And also the good news is its compact dimensions lend it to very stress-free urban driving. Visibility is a great one, along with the steering is light enough to maneuver in and out of tight spaces effortlessly, while optional extras like parking sensors and cameras might help this even more. What about sportier FR models? If you specify a sportier looking Ibiza FR, sports suspension and larger 17-inch alloy wheels come as standard with 18-inch wheels offered by extra cost. This makes the Ibiza even sharper, making it possible for a sporty, involving drive that feels more akin with a Fiesta than regular Ibizes. The upside is the fact that there isn't a large compromise with regards to ride quality, either. It still gives a well-balanced ride overall, just with slightly tauter control after you're driving that little much more enthusiastically. 
dashboard is straightforward and user-friendly. Infotainment is great. Quality trails its rivals in places. Jump into the driver's seat of the Ibiza so you notice just how much more restrained it really is than its exterior styling. That's not necessarily a very bad thing, though, since it means it's simple and simple to get comfortable, while all from the controls are sighted and stress-free to utilize. There is enough of adjustment within the seat and tire, and all of seats are supportive and comfy, in particular those found in FR spec models. What surprised us was just the amount thigh support there seemed to be, which are often a niggle of smaller cars with smaller seats. Simple interior planning, however it's all too easy to use. There's a full width section of trim over the dashboard which aims to provide some interest, nonetheless it's only on higher spec models where this features plusher looking materials besides grey plastic. There are a few quality question marks too, with few soft touch materials found even on top from the dash. A VW Polo this is simply not, however it does still feel solidly constructed and like it'll last the life on the car. The way the principal controls inside the center on the dash are positively slightly angled slightly towards driver can be a nice touch, though, and also you feel like you're sitting inside the car, as opposed to on it. It's a refreshing feel, and something that instantly causes you to feel more involved with driving it. Even the Fiesta can't offer this, which has a loftier driving position that feels at odds together with the driving experience. Touchscreen infotainment systems are standard along the Ibiza range, all of these are slick and an easy task to use. Opt for FR Excellence trim so you're treated to some super slick 8.0 inch color screen that's very easy to operate, and is particularly within easy reach from the driver. Strong seat comfort. Suspension well controlled. Impressive sound insulation. When you firstly set eyes around the Ibiza, you'd be forgiven for thinking it's a harsh riding car to check its sharp looks. However, the seat Ibiza has improved significantly compared while using old car, and after this provides an excellent compromise between sportiness and comfort. We've tried the Ibiza in regular form with small alloys, Higher profile tyres plus much more basic seats, along with a high spec FR with sports suspension, upgraded 18 inch alloys and sports seats. We're glad to report that comfort levels are high across the product range, with few compromises created by going with the sportier version. Let's mention the regular car first, though. Seat I beat the say comfort. In best selling form, the Ibiza can be an accomplished performer in relation to comfort. Despite feeling more basic inside, seat comfort impressed us with lots of support over a prolonged test drive, as you move the combination of 16-inch alloy wheels and fatter tires meant it absorbed harsh bumps inside road perfectly indeed. It's firmer than something as being a VW Polo or Curio, but never jarring and doesn't get upset by bigger bumps. It should be an identical story for entry level S and high spec excellence trims, too. What in regards to the FR? Even when you go for your sportier setup of FR trim, comfort levels are high. While sports suspension features, it's not noticeably firmer but still soaks up bumps admirably. Adding 18 inch wheels for the mix means it could possibly become more unsettled but it really took a combination of bumps and imperfections to even suggest the Ibiza might break a sweat. The seats found inside Ibiza FR are particularly nice, with extra bolstering for greater support. They don't possess a short base either, that you simply often discover in super minis. A long journey brought no discomfort whatsoever. Is there much noise to take on? Not by any means. Three-cylinder engines usually tend to make themselves known inside the cabin after you really rev them out, even so the Ibiza remains relaxed in the event you do this. Sure, you can hear in the event it reaches high revs, but it really is not coarse and it also doesn't upset the calm in the cabin. It's the same story with wind and road noise, with only slight blustering about the angular door mirrors as speed. The optional 18-inch alloys do enjoy some extra road rumble at speed with a few road surfaces a contributing aspect in this, too. 
All I-Visors include decent haul of kit. Just stay away from entry level S. Top spec models could be packed with gadgets. The seat Ibiza is less difficult to navigate than something similar to the Ford Fiesta or Vauxhall Corsa, composed of just four trim levels, S, C, FR and Excellence. Standard seat Ibiza hatchback equipment. Things kick off while using Ibiza S, provided with 15-inch steel wheels. 5.0 inch non colored documents touch screen infotainment system with Bluetooth, USB port, and own connection. Electric front windows and door mirrors. Air conditioning. Automatic headlights. Front assist system with autonomous emergency braking. Remote central locking. Height adjustment for driver's seat. Step as much as best selling say to the following. 15-inch alloy wheels. Front fog lights with cornering function. LED daytime running lights and tail lights. Body color door handles and mirror casings. 5.0-inch color touch screen for infotainment system. Leather controls, knob and handbrake. 60 hours 40 minutes split folding rear seats. The Ibiza FR builds on this with 17-inch alloy wheels. FR-specific front and back bumpers with twin exhaust pipes and privacy glass. Gloss black door mirrors that fold electrically. 8.0-inch color touch screen infotainment system with satnav, full link featuring Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, voice control and dive radio. Seat drive profile, switchable drive modes. Sports seats and flat bottom tire. Ambient interior lighting. Automatic wipers. Cruise control. Top spec IB Excellence has a generous level of kit, building on say an FR with 16 inch alloy wheels. Chrome window trim. Black Alcantara upholstery. Front center armrest. Dual zone climate control. Front and rear electric windows. Keyless entry and ignition. Front and rear parking sensors with reversing camera. Seat Ibiza hatchback, optional extras. A collection of different alloy wheel designs is usually added to various Ibiza models, while there are several attractive metallic paint options from which to choose at expense. An appealing option are the total LED headlamps with distinctive LED daytime running lights signature with the outside, in addition to LED interior lighting to keep the theme, while different seats might be added inside, and also a panoramic sunroof. In comparison to its technology, the full link system could be added to say models, but only in case you also go for your navigation system, while there's an aftermarket beat sound system positioned on all but entry level trims. Wireless phone charging referred to as the connectivity hub, is additionally available, and yes it boosts phone signal within the car. This may be the kind of thing to interest company car drivers especially, out of the box cruise control. Spend a little more money and adaptive cruise control can be available. Finally, convenient features like parking sensors and cameras might be specified, also a storage pack which adds a variable height boot floor and drawers underneath the front seats. Useful what you should make driving easier can also be found within the options list, such as convenience pack including automatic lights and wipers along with an auto dimming rear view mirror. Plenty of safety equipment as standard. 5 stars from your own cap. Extra assistance tech could be added. Your own cap has awarded the seat Ibiza which has a top 5 star rating. As standard, it has an suite of airbags. Electronic stability control and emergency brake assist, tire pressure monitoring, hill hold control and front assist, seats reputable name autonomous emergency braking. There's another multi-collision foot brake which holds for the brakes inside event of a rear end impact, while automatic warning lights flash under hard braking or perhaps incident. Few safety extras might be added apart from adaptive cruise control, 
which means you won't have the capacity to specify such things as blind spot monitoring and lane departure warning just like you can on such as the Ford Fiesta or Citroen C3. Surprisingly spacious inside Ibiza. Flexible, well-shaped boot. Not the brightest interior, though. The Ibiza is extremely slightly shorter compared to the car it replaced, but due to its surge in the length in the wheelbase, there's a noticeable level of extra space within the cabin. That's also down into a wider body compared to old car, together with wider seats. There's enough space for four adults to suit in comfort, which has a generous number of headroom unless you're really tall. Most is going to be perfectly comfortable, though, however a passenger inside the middle seat might notice the squeeze slightly. Best left for your kids, that particular. It's simple to access due on the five-door body style. There's decreasing interest on three-door superminis, therefore the Ibiza is only accessible in this kind, and that is useful for small families regularly utilizing the rear doors. Is the seat Ibiza roomy enough for your family? Even opting for that sunroof doesn't eat into roof space, and yes it adds extra light to the cabin, and that is very welcome, because the interior sense is quite dark. The boot can be a generous 355 litres, which is a bit more generous than the majority its rivals. High spec models come using a variable height boot floor at the same time, to include some extra flexibility. In comparison to its extra storage, you will discover big door bins, lots of cup holders plus some neat areas to hold bits and bobs. It's impressive for this sort of small car. Folding the spine seats down is not hard, expanding the complete load capacity with the Ibiza to 823 litres. The Ibiza can be a compact car, so few drivers will feel daunted by its size. On the road, it's very simple to place with good visibility, while parking is easy too due to flat sides and an abundance of windows. Parking sensors and cameras may be added to help maneuverability. However with light steering and short overhangs, it's very simple to judge the size in the Ibiza when parking in tight spots. Boot space is often a very generous 355 litres, which is usually expanded to 823 litres by folding the spine seats down. With the seats up, that boot space is actually over a MK5 VW Golf offered, which shows simply how much cars are maturing. It's a square and usable size. Though, though the loading lip is fairly high. The height could be adjusted on cars fitted that has a variable boot floor, that gives a level loading area when the spine seats are folded down.